Today we're gonna make a chicken noodle soup with tiny meatballs. I love this one. It's really easy and perfect for when it's cold out, but really you could have this any time of year. All the ingredients are over here. Let's get to prepping everything right now. All right, guys, I always like to go over the ingredients with you. Basically, we're doing two things here. We're making a chicken stock, chicken soup, and then we're also gonna make meatballs. You can kind of do both of these at the same time. This is the pasta that I'm using. This is farfellini. You know, use any small pasta you like. This is the one that, you know, my grandmother, she always used. I always remember this one, like little tiny bows. I have two cups of chicken stock. I have about a cup and a half of carrot, cup and a half of celery. I have about three quarter cup of onion. You can use way less than this. I probably would use a little bit less than this, but I already chopped it, so I'm gonna use it. I have chicken thighs here. The chicken thighs are really easy. The dark meat is great. You don't have to worry about overcooking it. And I made chicken Vesuvio a couple hours ago. This is the extra part of the skin that was cut off. And I said in that video to save it, and we're gonna use it here. For the meatballs, we have three quarter pound of pork and three quarter pound of beef. Now you can use all pork, you can use all beef. This is gonna be a very basic meatball. We're gonna use a cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. They have a cup of Pecorino Romano, that's gonna go in there. Parsley will go in those meatballs as well, two eggs and you know, salt, pepper, some other ingredients, not too much. Let's make the chicken soup right now. And then while that's going, we'll put it off to the side, then we'll start making our meatballs. All right, I have a six and a half quart Dutch oven. Use a bigger pot if you want. You don't definitely don't need to use something like this for chicken soup. Turn the heat to about medium to medium low. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil down here. I'm gonna do just a, I'm gonna do a couple minutes to soften these veg vegetables up. You don't have to do this. You can put it all in the water right away. You really can. All right, I put the onion in first, right? Then two seconds later, I'm gonna put the carrot in. And then two seconds after that, I'm gonna put the celery in. Save all those celery leaves. They have a lot of flavor. They have more flavor than the celery themselves. This is very similar to wedding soup, but it's not the same. For my wedding soup and for a lot of people's wedding soup, it always has escarole, spinach. Let these soften up for about five minutes. All right, so maybe maybe it's been five minutes. You can see they got a little bit of brightness to them and that's fine, that's all we need. Going to put in two cups. This is chicken stock that I made from chicken base. Okay, and then it all goes to the bottom of course, but that's fine. Just put more water in there and then just put it right in. Chicken base is great guys. Somebody made the chicken stock for you, that's it. And you know, now what we're doing here is we're making our own. Sometimes you need a little bit of help. So I'm gonna put all the chicken thighs in, just get them in. And that's roughly three pounds of chicken thighs, maybe maybe a little less. I'm also gonna put in all that chicken skin that I saved from the chicken Vesuvio. If you got a bigger pot, you could put more water than me. I'll just add more as, as it goes. I'm gonna just fill this up almost to the top. So I'm gonna add probably another couple quarts. And I really should have used a bigger pot here. What I want you to do is use a bigger pot and get four quarts of liquid in here. Just get this to a boil, a little bit of a boil, then lower it down to a simmer. This is probably gonna take like 35, 45 minutes. Maybe it could be an hour. You can see all the foam that's coming up to the top, basically the scum. You can start getting rid of a lot of it and just put it right in a coffee mug or cup, whatever. It's just all that stuff. And the more chicken you have, the more chicken you use, the more of the scum that you'll get. Okay, it's starting to boil, so now I'm gonna lower it. So off to the side, probably about 40 minutes. During that time, we're gonna make the meatballs. So I'm gonna do it right here. That's why I need to get this out of the way. Here is chuck, it's 80-20. That means 80% meat, 20% fat. So it has a lot of fat in there. This is ground pork. There's gonna be a lot of fat in there too. If we were starting with lean meat, like turkey, or even like sirloins, you know, you could put milk in here, you could grate an onion, you can, you know, hydrate your breadcrumbs, all that. You, you, don't, you don't have to do it here, you really don't. And you know, honestly, I'm only using a cup of breadcrumbs. You can probably do this without, you probably don't need any breadcrumbs. I have one and a half pounds of meat. So, you know, normally you want to do about a teaspoon of salt per pound of meat. Put about that much in there. Eh, maybe, maybe that much. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of pepper, maybe a quarter. Just, just want to make, really flavor these up. 
I have two eggs. I'm gonna put in about half of that parsley, half a cup of pecorino, and I have a cup of breadcrumbs here. I don't even think I need that much. We'll start with not all of it. I'm just spreading it out to try to distribute that salt and pepper. You don't really wanna over mix a meatball too much when you make it. Watching my soup over there, make sure it's not <laughs> going over the top, but it's fine. Normally if you put milk in there to hydrate them up, the breadcrumbs will kind of distribute better in there. You won't have like clumps of the breadcrumbs. This is a really like simple meatball here. There's two ways to roll a meatball that I know of. Actually there's a third way, the, the wrong way, <laughs> okay? But the two right ways to do it is have a start with a bowl of water, dip it, your hands in, wet them, roll a meatball. The meat won't stick to them. The other way is to oil your hands and you keep oiling them kind of on a regular basis. One way you don't want to do it is just to dig right in here. If you, di if you dig in here right away with dry hands, you're, you're gonna get it all over you. The egg's gonna be stuck to you, everything. So I'm going in the water here. I'm just wetting my hands. I'm taking the tiniest bit of meat here. I'm rolling like this, okay? Very tiny. And I would say probably about a half inch to three quarter inch diameter. It will take you a little bit of time to do these. They're nice in there, the smaller they are, but guys, they really can be bigger. So you normally get about two meatballs worth before you gotta wet your hands again. And then most of that wetness will have come off and then it will start sticking to you. And then there's another good one. You look at the clock, you try to time yourself, see how, see if you can beat last time. It took me six minutes to do all that. So I would say probably the whole thing will probably take me about 15. All right, that took me 17 minutes. I have about 90 meatballs here. I don't know if you can beat that. I was going pretty fast. All right, here's our beautiful pot of soup now. Looks so good. Uh, I've been scooping up, getting as much of the scum out as I can. Now you can strain this if you want. And this probably cooked for about 50 minutes, I would say. So take all your chicken out, all the skin out of here and we're gonna break down this meat once it cools down enough. We're gonna need a few minutes. It's very, very hot. I probably waited about five minutes. Once you get that skin off, it kinda will steam away. So we wanna get all this meat off and we want to not uh, get any of the bones, cartilage or anything like that. Just put it all to the side. Depending on how long you cooked it, it will almost like tread apart. Just take your time to look through all the meat so what you're putting back in the soup is not any hard pieces or anything for somebody to have. I have a lot of meat here. So, you know, again, you don't have to use this much. It's great for leftovers too. Why did I use chicken thighs again? I said they're easy, they're foolproof, they're more flavor. Everything about them is better and they're cheaper too. Right now at this point, you can start boiling water for your pasta. Let's bring this to a simmer. It smells great, but we wanna make sure that it tastes great. It doesn't have enough flavor. We can add more of that chicken base. It doesn't have really any salt in here besides the little bit that was in that low sodium chicken base. Really good chicken flavor, needs salt. When you buy chicken soup in a can, when you buy chicken stock, that's not low sodium, even low sodium, there's a lot of sodium in it. And we'll just, you know, add enough to get it to taste good. I'm putting about two teaspoons in here to start. Also gonna add some pepper as well. Needs a tiny bit more. All right. We'll call that good. People who eat it, eat the bowl themselves, then they can add more. All right, so I'm gonna put this down to about a simmer, about a level four out of 10. And we're gonna put our meatballs in. They're not gonna take long to cook at all. Don't dump them all in at the same time. You, and I'll just plop them in like that. Take your spoon and just very gently just go around. Okay, I'm gonna keep plopping those in. This is gonna add more flavor to it. You're gonna have the fat from the beef and the pork in there, along with the delicious chicken flavor. This is what gives you that like, the, the, ma the magic here of this, of this soup. And you're gonna see all your effort pay off soon. A whole nother tray. Normally I wouldn't probably add them all in with this because we probably need about maybe an eight quart pot here, but we'll make, we'll make it work. 
Gonna let this go for not too long. You just cut one open. That's how you know when they're done. Cook your pasta to al dente and just drain it. And then you can put your pasta on the side. You can put a little bit of oil on it so it doesn't stick too much together. Look at this. Look at how good this looks. That is amazing. Well, I hope you think so anyway. And I'm gonna put some pasta in here. Uh, not a set amount. You can put a bunch of parsley in the soup and then you can add a little bit on each plate if you want. Mix that together. Okay, and then we're gonna dig in there. Hey buddy, what do you think this is? Um, chicken noodle soup with meatballs. What do you think of this? How does it look? It looks good. Yeah? You know, test the broth, the chicken, the noodles, test it all. Everything's good. Yeah, what's your favorite part? The meatballs or the chicken. Mine too. It's very chicken soupy, right? Yeah, that's a word. And you know, guys, serve it with cheese, serve it with that crusty bread. That's how I took the picture of it. That's what I like to do when we have it at the table. What, so what do you think, buddy? I think I'll give it an eight and a half. Like soup is not my favorite thing. Okay. But I really like this. Um, I, I like pasta, it's like the most. I know. Anything. Special thanks to Patreon producers Chris Whalen, Steve Winitsky, Paul Walter Hauser, Elizabeth Shaw, Joe Hardage, John Andolino, Kenneth Parker, Matt Fisher, Tom Branca, Mike Tamburino, Matthew Amore, Richard P. Bornvanek, Matt Gramke, Alex Eckleberry, Andrew Juhas, Paul Batman, Patrick Lang, John Kelly, Jonathan Papini, Ronnie Mask, Trevor, JB, Monica Tarot, Josh Avon, Ed Calamag, Daryl Crone, Andy, Pedro Basso, and Patricia Siefkin.